Welcome to St Paul and St Stephen's Church in Gloucester. Thank you for joining us for our service of the Word this morning. We can't be together in church today. But wherever we are, we can join together in our praise of God. We'll take just a few moments of quiet before we begin. We meet in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. And as we come to worship this morning, we say together our prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus says, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. So let us turn away from sin and turn to Christ, confessing our sins in penitence and faith. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. the collect. Almighty and eternal God, you have kindled the flame of love in the hearts of the saints. Grant to us the same faith and power of love, that as we rejoice in their triumphs, we may be sustained by their example and fellowship. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Our New Testament reading is from the letter to the Philippians, chapter 3. For it is we who are the circumcision, who worship the Spirit of God, and boast in Christ Jesus, and have no confidence in the flesh, even though I, too, have reason for confidence in the flesh. If anyone has reason to be confident in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day, a member of the people of Israel of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew born of Hebrews, as to the law, a Pharisee, as to zeal, a persecutor of the church, as to righteousness under the law, blameless. Yet whatever gains I had, these I have come to regard as loss because of Christ. More than that, I regard everything as loss because of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake I have suffered the loss of all things, and I regard them as rubbish, in order that I may gain Christ. For the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. Alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Now all the tax collectors and sinners were coming near to listen to Jesus. 
and the Pharisees and the scribes were grumbling and saying, This fellow welcomes sinners and eats with them. So he told them this parable. Which one of you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one that is lost until he finds it? When he's found it, he lays it on his shoulders and rejoices. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbours, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. Just so, I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who need no repentance. Well, what woman, having ten silver coins, if she loses one of them, does not light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it. And when she has found it, she calls together her friends and neighbours, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the coin that I have lost. Just so, I tell you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. For our reflection today, there are some words from Jane Williams about this passage of the Gospel. Then there'll be some questions for you to ponder and take your time over. Jane Williams writes, The shepherd and the sweeping woman in Luke's stories today are not reacting normally. We are not meant to read these stories and think, ah yes, I would do just that. We are supposed to question their values and then realise that the whole point of the stories is to question ours. The scribes and Pharisees are unhappy about the company that Jesus is keeping. And so Jesus tells them these extravagantly exaggerated stories. The shepherd leads 99 sheep to search for one. But why? Sheep die for all kinds of reasons, and no shepherd can ever expect to get through a whole season without losing a single one. The woman turns her house upside down, looking for one coin, when she has nine other perfectly good ones. And again, Everyone knows that coins do go missing, and there's no suggestion that the woman is very poor and cannot afford to lose one, or that the coin is particularly valuable. Both the shepherd and the woman are behaving oddly, just as Jesus is, according to the Pharisees. In each of these stories, one point is hammered home. God's reaction is wild and exaggerated, just like those of the shepherd and the woman. There is no profligacy in God's housekeeping. He cannot reconcile himself to natural wastage. He is madly happy when someone turns back to him. It is a vivid picture of God, thriftily counting up all the people he has made, anxious that not one should get lost. But if this is the main point of the story, there is also a second one. When the shepherd finds his sheep and the woman her coin, they call in all their friends to share in their rejoicing. How do they react? In the first stories, we're not told. Did they get into the mood and join in the party, happy just because their friend was happy? Or were they embarrassed and uncomprehending? We really need the third story in this collection, which we haven't heard today. The story of the prodigal son directly follows on from today's reading. In that story, you will remember 
how the older brother reacts. The scribes and the Pharisees can hardly have missed the point. And so I wonder, what does this scripture verse speak to you today about God? About God's wild and exaggerated and extravagant love for the one amongst the many? I wonder, is it not foolish to go after a lost sheep and neglect the 99? I wonder who I see as the sinners in my eyes. I wonder, how do I cope with my disapproval of my sinners that I see around me? And I wonder, when one of my friends rejoices and calls me to come in and rejoice with them, do I go? Or will I stand outside and refuse?
Let us pray. Good and gracious Shepherd, we rejoice in your protection and care. We know you will seek us out and save us. Guide us, O Lord, and keep us in the ways that lead to peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Good and faithful Shepherd, guide us into the ways of life and peace. Lord God, you come and seek us out. You call us and empower us to live to your glory. You are our Shepherd and Guide. You are our God. We pray for all who have strayed from faith, all who have got lost in various ways, especially any whose lives are in danger. We pray for those who would like a faith, but have struggled to come to terms with it. We pray for all those whose life has knocked them around, and they have been unable to see the love of God. We pray at this time for our churches, as we again once more cannot meet together. We pray for our bishops, Rachel and Robert, for the clergy in our deanery and across our diocese. and for every member of our congregations, that they may know the searching love of God this day. Good and faithful shepherd, guide us into the ways of life and peace. God, our protector, we remember before you all who work or live in dangerous places or a hostile environment. All who are suffering at this time from storms and disasters. All who are caught up in strife and warfare. All who are working in conditions that they never took on as part of their job. All who are struggling with the COVID regulations in the workplace. For all those who have lost a workplace to go to. We pray for all who are seeking peace and well-being for the world and in our communities. We pray for the so many charities who are supporting our people So much work going on that we don't see. We give thanks for their energy. We give thanks for all who work to seek out the lonely and the lost. Good and faithful shepherd, guide us into the ways of life and peace. Lord, we give thanks for all who have sought us out in times of troubles, who have been a strength and a joy to us. We pray that you will guide all who teach and influence others. And let us know your presence in our homes and with our loved ones at this time in our nation. Guide us in our choices and in our friendships. Help us to seek one another out in love as best we can. We pray that others might seek us out when we are lone and struggling.
good and faithful shepherd. Guide us into the ways of life and peace. We ask you to be with all who walk in darkness. May your love and light protect the depressed and the despairing. May your strength and hope be known to the discouraged. We ask your blessing upon all who are ill at home or in hospital. And in the silence, we bring before you those who are on our own heart. Good and faithful shepherd, guide us into the ways of life and peace. We pray for all who are entering the shadow of death and for their loved ones in their time of anxiety. Bless all who are in a hospice or in a care home and all who have care of those in the last days and weeks of their lives. We pray for all who have passed through death and entered life eternal. Good and faithful shepherd, guide us into the ways of life and peace. Lord God, as we enter these weeks ahead of us, may we look for the coming of your light. And may we shine as light to others as we bear witness to your constant, loving and searching presence among us. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Christ our King, make you faithful and strong to do his will that you may reign with him in glory, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. <laughs>